Okay, so let's see if we can finish these uh, questions about the market equilibrium. It's another question about two things happening at the same time. One is a reputable newspaper publishes the results of a research study that drinking beer is good for you. So everyone's dreams. Uh, the demand curve, which if will probably increases demand for for beer, and then also the cost of selling beer goes up. The, the one before we did it with the graph. This one we're gonna do it without the graph, so you can see that you can answer these questions without I without a graph. Without a graph, it's good if you do the graph, but you don't have to as soon as you keep your work organized. So there's two things happening here. We're going to evaluate each thing sep separately and then we're going to combine them. The first one is the uh, result of the research study that uh, increases demand. An increase in demand increases the price and increases the quantity. So the result of the first thing is price goes up, quantity goes up. The second thing is that the cost of beer goes up. That reduces the supply. It's going to increase the price, but it's going to decrease the quantity. So when you combine both effects, you have an increase in price and an increase in price. So there's definitely an increase in price. But you have an increase in quantity and a decrease in quantity, so we can really tell what happens to the quantity. So the result of, of this is that the answer will be an increase in the price and an undetermined change on, on quantity, or that the quantity may increase or decrease. So um, we go back to the question. That means that the answer should be C, an increase and an increase or decrease in the quantity. Keep your work organized. Okay, so now we uh, have a question about consumer surplus combining the market equilibrium with consumer surplus. What's going to happen? What will need to happen for the for a decrease in consumer surplus for the market for Britney Spears? Well, consumer surplus goes down if the price goes up. So anything that increases the price will decrease consumer surplus. An increase in the supply of Britney Spears that actually increases consumer surplus because it decreases the price, that's not the answer. An increase in the price of Katy Perry music that will actually change the demand so that we, we won't be able to tell what happens to consumer surplus directly. Um, a decrease in the price of, of Britney Spears music, well, that's the answer, right? Uh, well, the decrease in the price of Britney Spears actually increases consumer surplus, so that's not the answer. And finally, uh, critical input for selling Britney Spears goes uh, uh, Britney Spears, which is Britney Spears, goes missing. That decreases the supply of Britney Spears music because it increases the cost of producing Britney Spears. That increases the price and that increases consumers, decreases consumer surplus. So that's therefore the answer. So of all of these four, the one that is definitely going to cause a reduction in consumer surplus is D because the price of the music will go up. Now, some people may actually chose B as the answer. An increase in the price of Katy Perry music will increase. Uh, well, if it's a compliment, actually, you don't have to worry about it because the demand, the demand for Katy, the demand for Katy Perry music will go down, and that will actually um, decrease the price. So the answer here for sure is D. The Britney Spears music. Um, the Britney Spears go missing. The the cost of selling her music will go up. The price will go up and the consumer surplus will go down. Here's another question about consumer surplus. Uh, this one probably caused a little more confusion. Uh, there's two things happen. There's one thing happening here is that the cost of selling music goes up. Well, that will increase the price of selling music. If the price of selling music increases, then consumer surplus will probably go down. So whatever we have here, as cons if whatever option we have here that says that the consumer surplus decrease, that's going to be the answer. Increasing consumer surplus, that's not the answer. Consumer surplus actually goes down. Decreasing consumer surplus, that's the answer that we had actually found before. Increasing producer surplus, that's not the answer. The price of music actually goes up, but there's going to be some, cons some producers that are going to be leaving the market. And many people would choose this one as the right answer because of the increase in the price. But remember that the increase in the price is coming from a reduction in supply. So when the supply is lower, some, some producers that were producing the music before and they were getting surplus and now are not going to be producing the music. Yes, the people, the, the, those producers that stay in the market 
will actually get a higher price and they will have a higher surplus. But there are going to be some surplus that is lost from the market altogether because some producers are not selling anymore. So whether producer surplus goes up or down is going to depend on what's is uh, larger the number the, the, the surplus that we lost because produce, some producers exit the market or the surplus that is gained because of to those producers that stay in the market selling at a, a higher price now since since the question doesn't really tell you which of those two changes is more is higher or larger then we can't really tell what happens to producer surplus c may or may not be true in either in either case it's definitely not better not a better answer than B that is true all the time because if the price of selling music the, if the price of music goes up the consumer surplus definitely will go down and we know for sure now the last one is decrease in producer surplus most students don't choose that one usually the confusion is between B and C but as long as you as long as you understand that a change in supply cost in this case an increase in uh, in the cost of producing music a decrease in supply reduces producer surplus because there's less number of producers selling music okay uh, I think this one actually we did already so I'm gonna go forward over this one and we did this too what else we have here uh, we have another one like this one. There's two things happening. The Chicago Bulls win the championship. That increases um, demand. And the team management increases the salaries of all players. So the the cost of the tickets actually, uh, the cost of producing the tickets goes up, goes up. And that increases the price and decreases the demand. So we can analyze each thing different, uh, separately. The increase in demand is going to increase the price and it's going to increase the quantity. The decrease in supply it's going to um, increase the price, but it's going to decrease the quantity. So when we combine the two, we know that the price definitely goes up, but we don't really know what happens to the quantity. Okay, so the answer from before is going to be that the price goes up, but that the quantity, uh, we don't really know. So again, the answer is C in this particular.